Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we're doing a really fun video sharing with you five family-friendly summer activities that are a little bit out of the box, maybe a little bit more unique, whether it be inside, outside, local to your area, etc. I'm so excited to share with you some of these ideas today and I hope you guys find some inspiration. Hopping into family activity number one of the day, which is frozen excavation blocks. I did two containers, like Ziploc containers, added a little bit of food coloring, mixed it around, added some sensory toys in there. I only did a couple, just kind of experimenting this first time, froze it for eight hours and boom. I also wanted to share with you guys today, I am collaborating with Fargo Mom. If you guys are not familiar with where I live, I am from the Fargo-Moorhead area, Fargo, North Dakota, Moorhead, Minnesota area, and there is an amazing blog, Fargo Mom Collective. She does she has a whole team of members and they have so much to offer you guys. I've been following her for quite some time. I will have all of her information linked down below. She shares lots of local activities and cute little summer activities, uh, things to do with your kids, so many things and so much information on that blog. I know me as a mama in being real here on my channel, all of her content creators are also so real and speak great to my heart. So again, I will have Kathy's information linked down below. Again, she has the most amazing team of content creators and I'm really excited to share them with you guys today. So circling back to this activity, I will do this over and over again. This was so fun. I just grabbed a couple of spoons for the kids because I didn't want any sharp items. So grabbed a couple spoons for the kids and something I did with Riker is I just kind of like showed him he could rub his hands across the top to help the ice melt a little bit. Of course, he wanted to eat it. I have seen a couple of people do this with Kool-Aid mix, which I, yes, okay, it gives you the color and it would like be kind of tasty for the kids too. Um, but I was nervous to do that because I thought it would get too sticky, but to each their own, go ahead, give it a shot, tell me what you guys think. If you guys do an activity similar to this, please tag me on your Instagram, your Facebook post, whatever it may be, share, share, share. I am so excited to see what you guys come up with for your own excavation blocks because this was so much fun. Family activity number two that I am sharing with you guys today is going on a family hike. So Mike and I like to do this a lot when we're on vacation, but we don't do it often in our local area. Again, if you are local to my area, I'm going to share with you a blog post from Fargo Mom that kind of outlines some of the closer areas to go on a hike to. I chose to go to Buffalo River State Park and I have been going here since I was a kid and I kind of forgot about it, you guys. It is so pretty out here. Just wide, vast, like open fields and beautiful greens and trees. And even if you wanted to snap a couple of pictures out here, this would be a great place to do it. I remember doing my maternity photos with Kaya out here and it was just really fun to come back out here, have Kaya kind of sniff the flowers, explore, climb around. It was awesome totally wore down some energy which is a huge plus for me and Riker kind of napped on Mike's back while we were hiking it was so much fun so the third activity I'm sharing with you guys today I have shared on my channel previously but it is such an out of the box fun activity and definitely relates like directly to summertime I feel just with like planting things and watching things grow. Um, we do a lot of gardening here at my house and at our lake cabin. You can definitely DIY your own terrarium so you get your own container, your own seeds, your own soil, etc. I purchased this one off of Amazon because it was so easy. It was $12.99, everything came with the kit that I needed. It came with like some fun little stickers, glow-in-the-dark stickers, and Kaya was fully capable of doing this entire thing herself. I just kind of assisted with the cleanup as you can see um, because the soil kind of gets all over the place. But this is such a fun indoor activity to do during the summer if it is just too hot and muggy to be outside or it's a rainy day. It's just, it's something to keep their little hands busy 
in combination with the terrarium, what I will do is I'll actually go onto YouTube and I will look up terrarium educational videos for kids. So I played an educational video for Kaya, kind of taught her a little bit about terrariums and what they are. Now Kaya is only four, she'll be five years old this September, so I've been doing some homeschooling, things like this, just to kind of get her prepared for kindergarten, get her hands on something, and really try to connect like the material that she's learning, whether it be from a from an educational YouTube video or from like a preschool packet, etc. I try to connect that with an activity because kids are so hands-on. So just a little tip, something that I will do with Kaya to get her prepped for preschool and kindergarten is doing these little homeschooling activities on a rainy day during the summer. And as you guys can see here, these totally work. These were just like wheatgrass and chia seeds, but this worked so well and it's such a cute activity to do with the kids indoors during the summer. Activity number four I'm sharing with you is probably my favorite. You guys know that I am very active over on my Instagram as well. What we did this day is we did our own little photo shoot. So here is a snapshot of Mike. So we did a little bit of recording to show you guys how our photo shoots go. Um, me and the kids, we kind of coach them through just to get like a really fun picture like this of Kaya jumping, me holding Riker, throwing him up in the air. Super fun. This wall is in downtown Fargo behind the pickled pear if you are local to my area. I will also have a link down below to a bunch of murals in the Fargo-Moorhead area. Uh, lots of cute little places that you can find downtown Fargo alleyways and there's these rusty stairways and they're so beautiful. Whether you want to do family pictures or you just want to head out and do some pictures by yourself, girl, these are cute areas. This is also in downtown Fargo. This is the Civic Center in downtown Fargo and they have these cute flowers. We were just walking around and found these cute flowers. I wanted to pose by them and the pictures turned out so cute. We also went to the library, which is right next door to the Civic Center in Fargo, in downtown Fargo specifically. We have these cute little like statues and the landscaping is so pretty. It just something is eye catching, something different to do instead of just being in the backyard. But I was able to snap a couple of really cute pictures while doing it. And I'm going to show you guys how I edit my photos. So I go into Lightroom. After we've done our little photo shoot, I will go into Adobe Lightroom on my iPhone. I will go through my photos and kind of pick out the ones that I think 
look the best when nobody's squinting, maybe looking a little bit more candid or looking at the camera at the same time, which is a lot harder than it sounds, I promise you that. So I kind of go back and forth and choose my favorite one. And then I will go into presets. Now all of the presets that I have are pre-downloaded from Etsy. Yes, I purchased all of my all of my presets from Etsy, highly, highly recommend because it's so much cheaper than purchasing them off of Instagram. But I will apply a preset and then I kind of go back and forth with the texture, the clarity, the lighting. Sometimes I want it a little bit more saturated. Um, sometimes I want it a little bit more textured. And then I will go in, I'll straighten it, crop it so that it is good for Instagram because that is where I post all of my pictures. Um, and then I will go ahead, save that to my phone and post it to Instagram. So just a little photo editing hack for you. I have saved the best for last, you guys. This is the best investment that I have made this summer for 60 bucks. I got this projector off of Amazon. I think they're a little bit more expensive right now because the demand has gone up a little, but I will have it linked down below for you guys. 60 bucks, we do indoor and outdoor movies with this guy. We like to also project it up on the garage door, but it was raining this night, so we just did a makeshift indoor movie night with a sheet hung up, some jello, some popcorn. It was so much fun. All right, you guys, that is going to wrap it up for today's video. I hope you found some fun, inspirational activities to do with your kiddos here in the summer that are a little bit out of the box. Again, today's video is in collaboration with Fargo Mom. If you're local to my area, I would love if you went and checked out her blog. She has so much good content on there. And I will see you guys in a couple days for another really fun video. Okay, bye you guys.